back to my channel. Happy Friday. It is another Friday. It's been another week on WW and I am here to share with you and not only my weigh-in, what we talked about at our workshop, which was a great topic and a little bit about my week. So as you know, or may not know, I started a 90 day summer challenge Facebook group where basically you have the option to join this group, set your own goals for the next 90 days or for summer. And we're sharing these tips, these tricks, these ideas with each other in this private Facebook group. So we are in the midst of the 90 day challenge. It actually started on July 1st. So we're entering the second week or we just finished the second full week of the challenge. So for me, I have specific goals set. They are calorie related goals. They're fitness related goals. So for me this last week, everything went spec spectacular. If I stay within my goals for the day, I get to put a little star in my planner. If I work out, I get a second star. So it's really fun at the end of the day to jot down my caloric goal. If I worked out, put the stars in my planner and it was super fun last week. Now there was one day that I did not get my star. I did not stay within my calories. I was really hungry. I don't know why. It wasn't even a day that I exercised. I was just for some reason extremely hungry. So I ate outside of my calorie goal for the day. So I wasn't able to give myself a star. But I did even with the 4th of July weekend earn six stars last week. So that was super exciting. So I expected to see a loss on the scale this week because everything went as planned. Three times of jazzercise. And in fact, the reason this hair is in a ponytail and this jazzercise tank top is on is because I'm heading to jazzercise after this video. So everything went well last week. It was a great week. I felt really good. I'm loving the challenge. It's been so fun with everybody. It's still not too late to join. So I'm going to put my Facebook group here on the screen for you guys. And then you join this private Facebook group through that. So with that being said, let's go to the virtual workshop. Let's weigh in and let's talk about this last week. Welcome back. So I went to my virtual workshop. I loved this topic. Like I mentioned, this topic, I think came at a perfect time. We've been spending a lot of extra time at home, which means we're probably spending a lot of extra time in our kitchen, whether it's cooking or baking or just spending a little extra time doing all the kitchen types of things over this last few months. So we talked about lowering the smart points in your kitchen. And we talked about what we love about the WW program is we can eat whatever we want as long as it falls within our smart points. We want to make good, healthy choices. We want to choose foods that nourish our body, but essentially we can eat whatever we want as long as we stay within our smart points goal for the day, for the week. So with that being said, I want to share with you some tips from WW on how to make the smart points in your kitchen a little less, but still enjoying your favorite foods. So the first tip is switch your method. So ditch things such as deep frying or frying in oil because you're adding extra fat, which isn't a bad thing. It's important important to get healthy fats, but you're adding additional fats, AKA points, calories to your dishes by deep frying them or cooking them in oil. So switch your method. Maybe try grilling outdoors since it's summer and it's beautiful outside. And let's be honest, chicken is the best off of the barbecue grill. So just switch your method. Try your air fryer, try grilling or broiling your food or pan frying it in a teaspoon of oil versus several tablespoons of oil. And by ditching those things and choosing healthier options when it comes to cooking your food, you're going to save yourself a lot of points, but you're still going to be able to enjoy delicious, wholesome food. Number two, I think is really the foundation, the most important, and that is making substitutions. So try using unsweetened applesauce when you're baking in place of oil. Try using a lower calorie or lower fat option if you are someone who eats sugar-free, low-fat options. Try substituting some of that in place of the full fat, higher fat options, and you're going to see a decrease in smart points. Now, you guys know that I do not eat any sugar-free, fat-free. I really try to focus on full fat, 
things such as cheeses and dairy, but you can always substitute maybe half and half, maybe a half of a light cheese with half of a full fat cheese if you're still wanting to get in that full fat dairy but save a little bit of smart points. So just making healthy substitutions. Try no sugar added ketchup like G Hughes or Primal Kitchen in place of regular ketchup on your barbecued burger that you just made for dinner. Just making these simple substitutions will not only save you smart points and calories, but will make you be able to fit a little more nourishing, wholesome food throughout the day. Number three is spice up your life. Try playing around with some zero point spices. You guys know my love and my obsession for Dax. I love Dax. It is a very clean spice. There's no salt, no MSG. So if you're someone that watches your salt or maybe before you weigh in and you want to make sure that you're not having any water retention due to salt, Dax spices are amazing. They're affordable. I do have 10% off and free shipping. I'll put that here on the screen for you guys. But Dax is a great option. It is packed full of play flavor, but no points. Zero points and nice, clean ingredients. You can add things such as smoked paprika or curry to your meats. It gives it just an authentic, original, deep flavor. Try some rosemary on your potatoes. That's another great seasoning that you may not think of to add to your potatoes. And even put a little cinnamon in your oatmeal. Cinnamon has a lot of health benefits and it just really amps up the flavor. So spend some time experimenting with some of those spices in your spice cabinet that maybe you haven't used for who knows how long and really spice up your life a little bit with these zero point spices. Number four is a trick I use all the time and that is line your baking sheets with parchment paper in place of oil or butter. If you lay down that parchment paper, nothing will stick to it, including roasting up your vegetables, and it saves you having to even use nonstick cooking spray or other oils or butters that have a lot of fat and smart points. So lay down a sheet of parchment paper, pile your dinner on, breakfast, your lunch on top of that, pop it in your oven, and it is a genius way to save a lot of calories and points. Just be cautious if you are putting something at a high, high temperature, I'd say 425 and above in your oven. Just be aware that sometimes the parchment paper will burn. Um, hopefully not catch on fire, but burn a little bit just to due to the high heat. But parchment paper is a great way to save on points and calories. And number five is just a spritz. Just use a tiny bit of olive oil, avocado oil, whatever type of oil you're choosing to your food. You're still only going to have to count one point, but you're getting in some healthy fats, which is so, so important, especially if you concentrate on a lower fat diet, make sure you're adding some healthy fats to your diet every single day. And a really easy, healthy way to do that is using a good oil. Good oil, meaning avocado or olive oil, not canola or any of those other really highly refined and processed oils. By just adding one teaspoon, one smart point a day, you're getting in some good, healthy oils. You can buy things like the, I think it's the Misto or Misty. I'll put a picture here for you guys, but it's an oil sprayer where you add your oil to it and then it kind of subs as like a nonstick cooking spray, but it gives you a little bit of real healthy oil instead of a nonstick cooking spray that has a lot of ing ingredients, chemicals, propellants, that type of thing. So it's a great way to get in some healthy oils and some healthy fats without really breaking your smart points bank. So take advantage of all of this extra time at home and get to know your kitchen, get to know your spices, try different recipes and techniques in your kitchen. It's a great time to do that. Your family's home, so they're going to eat everything that you make. And it's just a really good time to get a little bit better in your kitchen. I am going to link down below for you guys, my favorite kitchen appliances, things that I use in my kitchen all the time. This is a question that I get pretty much every type of recipe video. Where did you get that? What do you use for this? What's your favorite air fryer? So I'm going to link everything down below for you guys. So if you're looking to up your kitchen game, I'm going to share some of my favorites down below for you guys. But take advantage of this time to really check in with your kitchen, learn some new recipes, some new techniques, and spend a little extra time making some home cooked meals for your family. So let's talk a little bit about my week. I shared with you guys that I had a good week, six out of seven days with some gold stars, which is so exciting. Three days of jazzercise. I feel like I really nailed it this last week. Now I had a little bit of a flub up on that one day, but I was really proud of myself that with two 4th of July get togethers, I stayed within my range that I chose as far as calories went for that day. As you know, I am tracking calories. I am also double tracking points, but my focus has been calories just to see 
how I'm doing calorically wise every day, what days am I more hungry, less hungry, where do I see those calories and those points changing. So that's kind of been my focus. It's been going great. I'm loving it. I'm loving the extra freedom. And yeah, it's easy to stay within that range for me. I seem to not struggle and I feel nourished and satisfied and fulfilled, which has been absolutely amazing. I'm excited to try some of these kitchen tips that WW shared with us, and I'm excited to have a fantastic week this week. Starting with Jazzercise today, I have it tomorrow, Monday, Wednesday, I have it planned out for the week, which is super, super exciting. I'm going to be trying some new recipes and meal prep, which you guys will see on Monday, and I just have a renewed motivation going into this week. I'm excited to kick some you know what and see a great loss on the scale for the third week of my 90 day challenge. So don't forget to head over and join us on our Facebook group. If you're interested in joining the challenge, it's certainly not too late. We're only about a week and a half in. So come over and join us. We have a Zoom call coming up. I already have given away some prizes. I have another giveaway this week. So we'd love to have you join if you are interested in kicking some butt this summer and coming out at the end way better off than you were when you started out this summer. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing. How are you hanging in there? How are you feeling going into summer or partly through summer? How are you feeling as far as your weight loss goals, your health goals? What do you think about trying some of these new tips and tricks in your kitchen over the next few weeks? I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited for the next week. I feel like I nailed this last week. I want to nail this next week. Speaking of nailing the week, I lost one pound when I stepped on the scale. How exciting after almost a two pound loss last week. And as you know, I'm slow and steady wins the race when it comes to my weight loss. I am okay with half a pound to one, one and a half pounds per week. That makes me so happy. So I'm absolutely thrilled with a one pound loss this week. So excited about that. Exactly on track, still losing weight every single week and really, really happy about that. So let me know down in the comments how your week went. What are some of your goals for the summer? What do you think about trying some of these new kitchen techniques and tricks that WW shared with us? And of course, we'd love to have you join the Facebook group. And also, if you're new, make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. We would love to have you be part of the WW community here on YouTube. If you love these weigh-in videos, you look forward to them. Our little car chat give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it really, really helps out my channel. Happy Friday, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow in my grocery haul. I have a really good recipe coming out in a video on Sunday. So stay tuned for all of that. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.